weren't able to force UCLA turnovers. And UCLA has not turned the ball over throughout the tournament. Only seven turnovers a game. I think they only had seven or eight in this one. Uh, but Michigan turned it over 14 times, and a few of those were offensive fouls, you know, screening fouls on Hunter Dickinson where he wasn't set, things like that. And then they had the wrong guy shooting the ball. Even the last possession, uh, they ran a little handoff, got a ball screen off the handoff, and when Hunter Dickinson rolled, he took two defenders with him. But you know what? Franz Wagner uh, couldn't hit the broadside of the barn in this game. He shouldn't have been shooting that shot. And even the last, the last rebound that Eli Brooks had, he needed to take that back out rather than try that risky shot under the bucket. They had, they had opportunities and didn't cash in. You give UCLA credit for, for their defense and how tough they were uh, to, to sort of gut it out in a one-possession game. All right, I'm not sure if you made a national championship pick at, at any point uh, heading into the tournament or, or uh, thus far, but you got four left. We'll give you one. Who do you like? Well, at the beginning of the tournament, I took Gonzaga. They're the best team. Uh, they score the easiest. They average 92 points a game. Everything they've done, and they did just did it uh, against USC, which is a, an outstanding defensive team. USC couldn't even block a single Gonzaga shot. They're one of their leading shot-blocking team in the country. And uh, Drew Timmy was fantastic. They've got lottery picks. They, they score. They do it all. And they defend at a high level. Uh, I think we're going to see Gonzaga cut the nets down and be the first undefeated team since Indiana. And then Mark Few's going to do exactly what Bob Knight did in 76 after he won. He's going fishing, man. Gonzaga getting there on Tuesday with their 85-66 win over USC. The Zags are the 14th team all time to advance to the Final Four unbeaten. The first since Kentucky did it in 2015. Gonzaga with its second Final Four appearance, the other being in 2017 when they lost in the National title game sports center all night espn radio on the women's side it's stanford and south carolina advancing tuesday to a final four matchup sec network analyst andrea carter i think it is absolutely going to be a battle the way that stanford stormed back to get that win down 12 at halftime